Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Don Johnson. And I'm Terry Briggs. Here's what's happening in your city. Serving the community has come to mean something very special for members of the Grand Prairie Police Department and its police academy at a unique annual event. It's called Tip-A-Cop, where officers volunteer to become servers and get to mingle with citizens in a casual setting. It happens every July at Texas Roadhouse restaurants all over the state, where for one night, law enforcement officers are allowed to accept tips on behalf of the event's beneficiary. Here you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Texas Special Olympics. We love reinforcing and helping our police department because they support us, and that's the important thing is to be able to have the support for our athletes so that they can continue to strive and excel and be a part of society and do the things that they love to do, which is sports. This marks the sixth year in a row that Grand Prairie officers have given up their time to help in the fundraising effort for some special athletes. We couldn't do it without our community. One reason I love Grand Prairie and one reason I'm here is we've got a great community who loves and supports their police department and support, who supports Special Olympics. The GPPD is proud to report that this year's event set a new all-time record for Grand Prairie, raising more than $5,400. <laughs> The American Towman Spirit Ride is rolling through Grand Prairie. The Spirit Ride is a cross-country campaign to get the public to slow down and move over when there's an emergency situation on the road. A tow truck convoy is carrying that message on a casket dedicated to the first responders and tow operators killed every year while working on the roadside. On Wednesday, the convoy looped through the city with a brief stop at the public safety building. What the ride means to me is uh... A few years ago, we got the uh, move over slow down law passed in Texas. And uh, every six days, a tow operator is struck and killed on the United States highways. And uh, people are not abiding to it. Before leaving, the tow drivers join police for this shout out. Slow down, move over, get the law. The ceremonial casket and procession of tow trucks will be on the road through the end of the year. For more information, visit atspiritride.com. Mayor Ron Jensen led the way once again as his popular cycling series hit the trails at Lloyd Park on Joe Pool Lake. Good evening. Good to see you. The program, called Cycling with the Mayor, is an initiative to promote fitness and fellowship. But just like a year ago, this particular ride also has another mission. 7-7 seven, seven happened. Backing the blue. And while city staff handed out special t-shirts with that exact message, Jensen reminded everyone of the events in downtown Dallas last July and the city's ongoing campaign to show support for law enforcement. The ambush happened 7-7 seven, seven, and we had a huge turnout in a week's time for it last year and we told everybody we're going to, as long as I'm mayor, we're doing this every July to support and back our blue. Since cycling with the mayor began two years ago, every ride has been escorted and protected by the Grand Prairie Police Department. However, for this special ride, there was an added police presence that joined not one, but two mayors and the biggest group of riders in its history. When you have events like this, you see what the community does. They come out, they take time, they talk to the officers, the, the kids love it, and the families come out. This is a family event, and they, they do come out. And they, they love the department, they love what the department does. I'm so happy that uh, the mayor invited me out and look forward to uh, joining up with him on other, other rides and uh, you know, look forward to make it even bigger and better and get our police involved in, in uh, Back to Blue in both of our cities. The next Cycling with the Mayor ride will be on Thursday, August 17th at Lone Star Park in Grand Prairie. For more information, go to gptx.org slash getfitgp or grandfundgp.com. Grand Prairie and Irving are lighting up a new joint fire training facility. The main feature of the training complex is a five-story, state-of-the-art burn tower with rooms that simulate residential and commercial fire conditions, including high-rise situations. There are also indoor and outdoor classrooms, as well as several training simulators. Ready? One, two, three. During a ribbon-cutting ceremony, officials talked about the benefits for both cities by teaming up to build the training center. Irving has a little bit of advantage being in their backyard. 
but even from South Grand Prairie by the lake, it took us only 19 minutes to get here. So this is great for Grand Prairie as well as Irving. What we're here to do is train our first responders to respond on muscle memory and think their way through it with muscle memory to eliminate the fear factor. And that's what training is all about, and that's why it's so important for both cities to have this training facility. Thanks to the two chiefs who came together and said, you know, we've got, we need a facility, you need a facility, let's, let's work something out. And today, this is what we have, is known as let's work something out. Folks, seven million strong, the DFW area. Seven million in Irving and Grand Prairie are right smack in the middle of it. So we're gonna both be growing and having needs and we're gonna have to work together. Grand Prairie and Irving split the cost of the $4 million facility and will share the day-to-day -day expenses of running it. Overgrown tree limbs are causing headaches in some parts of Grand Prairie. The low-hanging limbs put lives in danger by delaying first responders and they can damage emergency vehicles. We have things on the exterior, such as uh, air conditioners uh, on top of the cab. We have antennas that are necessary for our emergency communications. There's emergency lighting, scene lighting that's mounted to the cab that can be damaged by tree limbs. City code requires trees, shrubs, etc., be trimmed to 14 feet above the ground, just a few inches higher than this fire engine. The city will warn a property owner about a violation and give them 10 days to take care of it. If the limbs aren't trimmed by then, the city can issue a citation to the property owner. If they still don't take care of the problem, the city can use a contractor to cut back the trees and bill the property owner. And not only though you're looking at the citation that can be in the range of $200 to $300, but also the work performed can be also in that same range of $250. So you're looking at a pretty hefty bill for not trimming your trees each time that the city has to come out and perform that work. Officials say school buses, garbage trucks, and other public service vehicles are also at risk from low limbs. For more information about tree regulations, visit gptx.org slash code compliance. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you'll join us again next time. Thank you.